I'm on a boat, well, a large ferry, on the way to, well, the border of North Korea. So far, it's been one hell of a trip. I'm going to tell you about something that will save your life, potentially save your life, and something that I refuse to go anywhere without when I travel here in China. It's something that's unique to China, well, not unique, but it comes from China, and something I only found out about in China, and it is called Yunnan Bai Yao. Adventuring in China can be a very dangerous and hazardous thing to do. For instance, filling up with petrol at the petrol stations if you are riding a motorcycle requires you to basically fill up a teapot of petrol, carry this fuming open teapot of petrol all the way across the parking lot and manually fill up your bike. This is just one of the small dangerous and hazardous things that happen here. But what happens if you cut yourself, and I mean like seriously cut yourself, not just a little thing where, uh, you know, stick a band-aid on it or whatever. You know, when you ride motorcycles, there's a huge chance of you falling, falling off or hitting a car or whatever, especially, so give me a second, especially here in China, people don't drive very well on the roads, especially in the rural areas. Uh, it's just a, a fact of life. It's dangerous to drive. People jump out. They don't look where they're going. The roads are bad, you could go into a pothole, you never know what could happen, but you could end up falling down, grazing the skin of your arm, hurting yourself quite badly. So what happens if you get into a situation where you've cut yourself and you're bleeding profusely, what can you do? Well, this Yunnan Baiyao stuff is the answer to that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to uh, my producer of the show here, the Conquering Northern China show that we're shooting, and he's going to talk a little bit about what happened to him on one of the first days of the shoot. So this gentleman over here who's busy messing around with white balances is our producer Rick. Rick, what's can you up? give us an intro introduction quickly or just say hi? Hey, what's up? <laughs> Rick had a little mishap on the mountain the other day. Okay. Rick, what happened? Uh, I had, a, had a little tumble. <laughs> <laughs> you still see your skid mark there. Oh, it's dripping. Get it, get oh, it. Oh, look it. at that. Okay, for, first things first. Here. <laughs> You it's a good thing like, you brought you that first like aid kit. Don't wanna uh, take any chances. It's but a flesh wound. And I got the best thing in the world here for something like that. So once you clean it off, the C three hundred before himself. <laughs> he did. He was like, ah, oh! <laughs> take it. <laughs> <It's> okay. <laughs> take my shoulder take with you. Take this series with me. <laughs> Okay, fuck. Cleaned it off. Tense though, wasn't it? It was. And yeah, we're right up, we're on the side of a mountain. <laughs> I thought that was the end of Conquering Northern China, if I'm honest. That was, honest. <laughs> that was the end of right. a two camera shoot, anyway. It was a good fall. Okay, okay. Alright. We got a back of fucking backup powder. In fuck case is, I fall down. We got this, these little bad boys. This is awesome. Putting like gunpowder on me. Was it? 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 This is proven to, in the Vietnam War, is why the Viet Cong was so successful against the. The GIs, because they had this. Watch. Looks okay. like it's bleeding pretty good. <laughs> Dude, I only just started. Good bands. Top bands. What, does this just kill the bleed? Of, uh, no, it's a coagulant. Good bit of yeah, turmeric. Bit of black pepper on Get there. a cilantro in there. Looks like cinnamon. This looks like his favorite black paper soup. <laughs> it's going on his elbow. <laughs> when we get to a pharmacy, I'll get a new one. Must be fairly deep, eh? I'll keep this as a souvenir. This can go in the merch bundle. <laughs> <laughs> Kickstarter, top to pledge. This, you gotta sign it with your blood. Wow. Signed in blood. Okay, there we go. So this is a replacement for plaster or what? No. Yeah, it, so what it does is it coagulates the blood and it also the, creates like an artificial scab. I dropped the camera and fell on my elbow, as you can see. That's well, healed up nicely. Yeah, and then Winston brought out a little tube of like coriander powder or something and <laughs> threw that all on there and then it and then it stopped bleeding. So because I used all of my Yunnan Baiyao that I had left to help the producer's arm <laughs> when he fell over, I am now on the lookout for some more. And uh, there's a pharmacy here. I'm just going to ask them if they actually have some. So let's find out. 
你好。家里有没有？你这边有没有云南白药？那边要有，要喷的还要抹的面儿。我要那个削的那个。面积。对，那个分分的那个。哦、这边。这这边吗？对。Okay, let's see. <音>再几个？这样一个削的，削的那个。嗯、啊，非常好。这个多少钱？十五。十五 ，fifteen RMB will save your life. Okay, I'm going to this fifteen RMB is going to get me my Yunnan Bio. Okay, 好，谢谢。分还有吗？没有没有。And here we have a brand new box of Yunnan Bio. This stuff is awesome. So that's really it. Yunnan Baiyao is amazing. It stops bleeding really quickly. It's very, very, very much a part of what I carry in my emergency kit. But I thought I'd finish this video just by going over some of the other hazards that you might encounter here in China when you're on the road. Uh, obviously, there's a big chance of catching some kind of uh, bacterial infection or something, especially if you go to any of the public bathrooms here. As you can see, they're really quite, uh, quite awful. And... Um, yeah, the sanitary conditions are bad. So it's always good to carry something in case you get some kind of infection or very common, people get diarrhea, uh, they get food poisoning, stomach issues, because sanitary conditions, especially out here in the rural places, they're pretty poor. So if you don't have a strong stomach, make sure you've got medicine. But I'm gonna um, basically sit down, we're gonna open up my little first aid kit and we're gonna go through it quickly and I'll show you what it is that I take with us on these little, little adventures and uh, yeah give you a little bit of insight. Take a look. The signs are now in Korean and Chinese because we're near the North Korean border. It's pretty interesting around here. Anyway, I promised I'd show you what's inside my first aid kit. So let's take a look. Currently on the side of the road on the way to somewhere interesting which you will see in conquering northern China. Anyway, I'm going to pull out my first aid kit and we're going to take a look. Give me a second. Okay. Okay. First things first, please excuse the traffic noise. As like I said, I'm on the road here, but anyway. Here I have a plaster. Everybody knows what that is. Band-aid, whatever, a big one. This is very useful. This is actually a sling. Because one of the biggest injuries you'll get riding a motorcycle is of course breaking your arm or doing something to your arm when you fall off. These things are awesome. Now these things are fantastic, I've only ever seen them in China. It's a Q-tip and it's kind of filled with iodine or some, some other kind of disinfectant and you break it and it drains into the, the Q-tip and you can use it to sort of clean um, and disinfect wounds. Th these are fantastic, so I have a bunch of those. Of course, the usual band-aids and um, what do we got here? Oh, this is stomach medicine. You know, this is really important, like I said, in case you you get a bacterial infection or you get uh, food poisoning or something. Here we have um, alcohol wipes. You saw me use one of those on Rick. And uh, yeah, just disinfection, alcohol wipes, lots of those. Safety pins for the sling. Uh, antibiotic cream for infections again. And of course the Yunnan Baiyao, another little bandage and something to kind of wrap up the bandage with. That's pretty much what I carry with me. And this is good enough for any kind of really um, small to medium kind of size mishap on the road. Anyway guys, it's time for me to leave you in this particular video. I can't tell you how awesome this whole trip has been so far. It has been hairy. We got into some trouble here near the North Korean border uh, last night actually and we had to get all our footage erased which was very very annoying. But uh, other than that, we've managed to get some amazing stuff. I can't wait for, you, for all of you guys to see what we've been doing. I am still on the road, so yeah, instead of two videos a week, I'll wait for that truck. Instead of two videos a week, I'm only gonna be able to put up one. It's so difficult, you, you probably see. Oh yeah, so Seamilk, he's also on the road. Yeah. Sorry guys. Yeah. It's so difficult to get out two videos a week, but one, I'm gonna make sure I at least have one. 
I'll make sure I at least have one because I, you probably noticed in this video all the different locations. This video has taken event over about a thousand plus kilometers. You know, it's quite ridiculous, but I'll keep making them. So please stick around and, you know, once I get off this trip, it's about another month or so, I'll be done with it. And um, yeah, I can't wait to see you guys with my regular schedule. Anyway, hope you found this interesting. Um, that Yunnan Bayou is absolutely fantastic. It, you know, you could probably buy it in like a local Chinese supermarket or something in your own country. So go check it out. Anyway, waiting for these guys. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Can't wait to see you in the next one. And until then, you know the drill. Stay awesome. You can go and play with your friends. Hello. 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 Hello.